Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I will be moving into Oxford. Back again, I'm finally made it outside. I'm currently going to pick up the car. First of all, grabbing some breakfast from Tesco. Heathrow, we've just picked up our wonderful rental car, which is low-key tiny, but we will make it work and meet Klaus. <laughs> yeah, no, We're currently back home, so now we have to pack all of this into the car. So the car is all packed up and ready to go, so we'll be driving off to Oxford. Yay! It was actually quite easy to fit everything in. I figured it would have been way, way harder to fit everything into the car, but it all just perfectly fits. So I finally got to my room. And let's see the inside. Ooh. It's actually bigger than I expected it to be. So I have a little bookcase, some buckets. Now I think they're for recycling the trash bins. Some drawers, a bag, paperwork, desk, desk chair, inboard and a bed, and a wardrobe. Cool, and a seat, and a random door. <laughs> so and this is my bathroom, I think. Nice, I have my own shower, that's really nice. And I have my little toilet, and a sink, towel rack. So we have changed the layouts a little bit now so that we can move in all of my stuff so that we don't have to like move everything around again once the stuff is moved in. the car we just went to Den Elm and picked up a wonderful metro stopper it's back in there and now we're currently at Argos definitely love this store that's why I'm bringing strong Klaus along so he can help me carry all of my heavy items hi back at you again at IKEA by far my favorite store to go shopping for uni like by far every single time every single year in uni we end up at an IKEA somewhere in the world whether it's New York or Amsterdam Look at this massive view behind me. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, these people want to go shop at IKEA. We have finally reached the stoplight and it's still red. But as soon as it turns green, we go into IKEA. Finally. How cute are these? These are so pretty. Hi, back from the IKEA self service. Yay. So we've collected a whole bunch of stuff for uni, like the entire cart is just filled up with all sorts of stuff. We're getting a second cart! We're done at Ikea and we're back in the car and as you can see it's literally dark outside. We've been in Ikea for such a long time. Absolutely crazy. 
and the entire car is just jam-packed once again with stuff I just basically need and also stuff that I find cute so we're planning on heading off right now to grab something to eat and then after that we'll drive back to Oxford and unpack the car but it's nice <laughs> we're just going to be fun in the dark and then yeah unpack some stuff and go to bed so we have made it to the restaurant and we will have some pizza So we just had dinner at Pretto and it was absolutely delicious. And there's like all sorts of restaurants behind me. Like there's Nando's, there's Pizza Express. It's pretty great actually. We have like this whole street of UK chains. Morning. So I've slept my first nights in my new office at university and there is still so much left to do for moving and packing. So this is my view from my bed and it's just so much stuff that just needs to be organized. I didn't actually brought a KitchenAid, I just used the KitchenAid box to store clothing in so I didn't buy a KitchenAid for uni, FYI. So we're back in the car, still busy doing all the moving stuff and we're heading for Sainsbury's for supermarkets to do some grocery shopping and get enough food for two weeks just in case I need to self isolate. Yay, we've made it to Sainsbury's. Look at how cute this one is. Never seen a Sainsbury's like this before. This is all that we've been collecting so far. A lot of pizzas because we're in uni and we have bought like way too much stuff oh well so this is my flat where I'm living in beautiful daylight I just dropped some laundry off at the laundry machine because I came here with dirty laundry from my lovely little laundry building so we just got home from the massive scenes breeze which, however, I realized that I'm already missing stuff, like I didn't bring any tin foil. I'm trying to like get my laundry out with one hand. I managed to do it. I'm very proud of myself today. Accomplishment of today. Another weird thing is that I just don't have an actual physical key. I have this ball, but I just need to like tap on every single door to get in. I need to tap it on the gates to get into like the terrain, like the castle of the terrain. I need to tap it for my laundry building, I need to tap it for my walk, and then I need to tap it for my door. I also need it to the kitchen. I guess I'll get used to it. I probably should buy like a lanyard and just attach it to me and it would like prevent me from losing it. I still need to bring my bicycle over. We'll do that next week when I catch the train to Oxford. Bye bye clouds. My husband is leaving me behind for just a night, but still. Bye! I'll see him tomorrow again. Good morning once again and welcome to day three of moving day. Today is Monday and the only thing left for me is basically clean up my room a little bit and pick up my university card and my college. And then I'll be having some drinks with some people who are on my course. I'll be heading back home to London. Hi, so I'm walking right now to go to my college. I've never been to my college before, so it's going to be very exciting to see it in real life for the first time because I did see pictures, but not like the actual real thing. So this is Castle Mill where I live. As you can see, it's like literally right on the train tracks.
place I found my college. This is my college crest. That's the neighboring college, which is St. Cross. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to go inside and actually discover it a little bit. So cute, it's all the rowing races that they have won. I like to paint it on the wall. So I picked up my university ID card and I walked around in Oxford for a little bit just to look around and I picked up a college scarf which is like a full on Harry Potter scarf with like the stripes and the colors of my college and the college crest on it as well which is absolutely gorgeous. So the plan for my rest of my afternoon is that I'm currently walking back to Castle Mill to my room to pack up my stuff and stuff I need to take back to London and then I'll be going out for a couple of drinks with people from my course. It will be all for my move in then. So I'm currently on the train, we're rolling into London Paddington. I think this is the end of my move in vlog because so I'm almost home again. So thank you very much for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.